When Luca's contract's up, he's going to have the biggest contract in NBA yeah, here. for sure. Do you believe we're going to get to a point in time, I don't know how soon, probably because of where it's going, that we're going to see a, 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 a an NBA player with a billion-dollar contract? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. A billion, Mark! Yeah, but, I mean, that presumes that TV keeps on going up the way it is. Yeah. But you're going to see $100 million a year here shortly. Wow. Because if the TV contract has 10% increases in the cap, the way the CBA works, right? And you saw Steph, you know, had 62 million for one year, yeah. right? I mean, when Luca and Tatum and all these guys, man, they're Tatum young. just got what? Tatum just got what, like 400? Something. So Luca's about to get a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. And it's going to go crazier like this year, this coming year is still old CBA, old TV money, right? Once that new TV money get, kicks in, like, they'll be making more money a year than I will. These guys are going to be making, like, I don't care how many billions you have. Like, I don't have a real job, right? right. <laughs> you know, and so I'm not making a million, hundred million dollars every year. Right. Right. You're going to have, you're going to have players making more than the owners. Wow. And that's okay, right? There is no league without them, right? That's what makes basketball, the NBA, different than every other sport, right? You know, you couldn't recognize 50 of 53 guys on an NFL roster if they walked in the door, right? right? NBA, right, particularly if you play 2K, you knew all 15 oh. guys and the two-way guys too, yes. right? And that's unique. You don't have that in baseball. You don't have that in soccer You have an, or the NHL. That's unique. They are the league and they earn every penny of it. Well, obviously, there's been a lot of fuss because the streaming is really taking this thing over. I mean, you have Amazon. And remember when you said, you know, started the first streaming platform? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's go back to that. I read a quote, uh, probably about, I was probably 22, 23. They says, a genius sees things that no one else sees and hits the bullseye. The streaming platform. Mark, how could you have foreshadowed this is where it's heading? Yeah, it was easy, actually. I mean, it made perfect sense to me. I'd been in the technology business for a long time, okay. right? And my buddy, Todd, and actually our start the building we started in was next door there, two doors down. And we're like, look, this internet stuff, there's going to be multimedia at some point, right. right? Let's start with audio, and eventually it'll get to video. And we're like, okay, is anybody else doing this? No. Okay, let me buy a computer. I did, bought another computer, put it in the second bedroom of my house. And I was like, let's just grind it out. And we started going to every radio station, every sports league. Like, we just got all the rights and locked them up. We were YouTube before YouTube. Wow. And and really, it, it, it was hard to do. But in hindsight, I was shocked no one else had done it before. Wow. And you look back at it. So when you sold that first company, you're like, did you like, damn, that was, that, that was, that was easy. Do you, do you start a company with the hopes of selling it? No, never. Right. I always start a company with the hopes of fucking things up, right? <laughs> and trying to disrupt things, you know? So like, I remember when we started, it was AudioNet before it was broadcast.com. And people were like, well, what's the mission on, you know, what's your personal goal? And I'm like, I want to be the next Ted Turner because Ted yeah. Turner had TBS, yeah. right? Started it's CNN, CNN, right? And then he was, you know, doing um, the racing, the yacht racing mm -hmm. or whatever, the yeah. World, um, World Cup. Yeah, World no, Cup. No, no, uh, what was it called? What is it? Um, America's uh, Cup. America's Cup. Right. And, or something like that. But in any event, and he has champagne everywhere. He has hot girls everywhere, right? And he's like managing the Braves when he wanted to. I'm like, come that's on, what that's what I want to be, yeah. right? I want to have fun. And um, so the goal, though, was to see if we can turn this thing and actually at some point in time replace television. Mm -hmm. And it happened slower than we expected, but it's happening now. Mm -hmm. And that that was the vision. Is Lenny, well... Because it seems like people just like go linear for live sporting events. It's like everything else is kind of like the Netflix, the Amazon, right. is the Tubi's, the all that other stuff is on like streaming platforms. Yep. Is that where we're so in the next five to ten years, Mark, where are we gonna be? That's where we're gonna be, right? Because linear television is struggling. You know, you know, you know, you know ESPN used to have 110, 120, 110 million subscribers. Mm -hmm. Now they're down in the 70s or something like that. And that's changed, right? You know this industry well, right? And it's harder even for Fox Sports and those guys. And so the money's just not going to be there. It used to be like, 
there, were, there was a time where it was like, okay, what's on, what are the new shows on ABC, CBS, and NBC, right? And See, you were used to be must watch, watch TV. You set your clock like, man, I'm gonna go watch Friends. Right. I'm gonna watch Everybody Loves Raymond or all the, whatever. And Shark Cheers, Tank. And Shark. Yeah. And Shark Tank. Yeah, Shark Tank. <laughs> yeah. They do, hey, did you know that was gonna be a No, success? I thought it was gonna suck, but um, we'll, we'll get there in a sec, right? <laughs> okay. So, but l- those shows, like, are scripted shows. They're not going to linear television anymore. No. They're going to streaming, right? Netflix and Peacock and Max and those guys. And so, you know, now the linear stations are trying to do all sports, you know, and, and that's their angle. Um, and on Shark Tank, literally, when I, I got asked to be a guest shark, and they're like, we'll give you three episodes. I'm like, cool, I'll come on. This show's not going to last. Right. I'm just going to go on there. <laughs> Literally. I'll be on TV for three shows. Dude. Right? That's exactly right. I'll be on, you know, I'll, I'll be on network television on ABC for three shows. I'll raise some hell, show people I know what I'm talking about with business, and we'll see what comes next. Right. And the next thing you know, bam. Of course, I take all the credit. <laughs> <laughs> this media rights deal. Uh-huh. Obviously, TNT is, has been at it. It's an institution. All right. Chuck, Kenny, Charles, and, uh, excuse me, Kenny, um, Shaq, uh, Ernie, and, Ernie, uh, yeah, and Shaq, yeah. and Shaq. So obviously they're an institution, and yep. after this year, they're not going to be there unless NBC or ESPN or one of these them. Amazon somebody picks them up. How difficult is that? Because they say, well, we're going to sue because uh, uh, we had right of first refusal, whatever the case may be. Yeah. And you don't have to get into too deep into it, Mark. But so what's going on with that? Did you know that the media rights deal was going to be basically like 3X, 4X, yeah. 10X? Yeah, because we were the last big media deal available. So think about what we just said, right? How do you keep linear TV alive? Yes. Right? You need sports. Mm-hmm. And the NFL is already locked up. So who's next? And so if you're going to stay alive, you needed us. And then when streaming wanted some of it to be able to carve out just some, like Amazon carves out, um, Peacock carves out some, it's like, why would we not take that money? Yeah. You know, and I mean, 51% goes to the players. So they were happy about it too. Absolutely. I think the thing is, is that these platforms, the streaming platform, the Netflix, the YouTubes, they want to be channels. They want to be taken serious and you cannot do it without sports. No, you can't, you can't. Because that's what's kept them alive, right? The, the NFL, and to a lesser extent, the NBA and Major League Baseball, you know, the other sports are helping, but they're living on the NFL. Yes. Right? And the NFL is just more and more and more and more. Yeah. But at some point, there'll be a tipping point, right? Because it costs more to get a um, linear television um, network than it does just a streaming, Mm -hmm. right? Because the cable network, the satellite network, they're having to pay all this money and they're having to charge consumers all that money. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna stay or stick around forever. And they're all, yeah, it's not sustainable the way it is today. And all those platforms are trying to figure out the right way to do it. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.